What's going on guys? This is Sam and after months and months and months and three class action lawsuits, Apple launched a keyboard replacement program for the 2015 MacBook, the 2016 MacBook Pros, and the 2017 MacBook Pros as well. There were a lot of issues with Apple's butterfly keyboard mechanism, keys sticking, keys not working, keys just stopping to function entirely. It was a huge deal. Thousands of people have been having issues. Lawsuits have been filed. And after that went on for over two years since the original MacBook was announced with the new keyboard mechanism, Apple just a few hours ago today announced an official repair program. Program. It will cost you zero dollars. Any of the eligible 2015 MacBook or 2016 and 2017 MacBook Pro models are eligible. You can get your keyboard replaced for free, which is super exciting because this has been a really hot topic of contention. And I'm glad to see Apple finally take a stance and own up to the fact that thousands of people have been having this issue. Apple, of course, has some specific criteria and some specific models that are covered by this new repair program. So I want to talk about that right now. The specific criteria, you can get it replaced or fixed. Apple says it's a a small percentage of MacBook and MacBook Pro users if the letters or characters repeat unexpectedly, if letters or characters do not appear, or if keys feel, quote, sticky, end quote, or do not respond in a consistent manner, which is pretty much the range of issues that users have been having with their MacBook keyboards. And the MacBooks, they can currently be repaired through this repair program for free, or if you've already paid, you can actually contact Apple to get a complete refund. So if you've had this issue, just reach out to Apple and they should give you a full reimbursement reimbursement for anything you paid for a keyboard issue related to any of those three criteria. But the official models supported are all three of the MacBooks, the 2015 model, the 2016 model, and the 2017 model. Then you've got the 13-inch MacBook Pro from 2016 and 2017 with both two and four Thunderbolt 3 ports, and the 15-inch MacBook Pro from 2016 and 2017. I've been really lucky with the 15-inch 2016 MacBook Pro right here that I bought like a few days after it came out. I haven't had any issues. I, I was waiting for something to happen. I was waiting for my keys to stick or repeat or to stop functioning, but that didn't happen. Uh, if you have this issue, you can go to the link down below once again. You can either send this into Apple or I believe you can visit an Apple authorized repair center or an Apple store and then get the issue fixed for free, hopefully once and for all. I know how frustrating this would be if it happened to me just once, but I know there are some people that would get their MacBook Pro fixed two or three or four times and Apple had never officially acknowledged it. And I don't know why they took so long. I don't know why it took them over two years since the very first MacBook with this new keyboard design was announced for them to, to realize that there was a serious issue here, but I guess the class action lawsuits sort of pushed them uh, in the the right direction to acknowledging this. So if you have this issue, this is great news. Contact Apple, get it fixed, and hopefully you won't have any more issues with your MacBook or MacBook Pro keyboard. That's all I've got for this video. If you enjoyed it, if you learned something new, make sure you drop a like down below. And for more Apple news and updates in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to help support the channel, you can head over to shop.iupdateos.com and that would be incredible. For now, I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.